Hello my gorgeous beans, welcome to the channel and welcome to my new island. As you may or may not know, I started a new island, inspired by the wonderful world of Pandora from Avatar. You know, the blue people. I've been a huge and longtime fan of Avatar for as long as I know and I've been wanting to start an Avatar inspired island for a long time. So. In honor of the new game Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and so many other things this December, I finally started. I am taking my time with this island, maybe recording a villager hunt or two, builds and other things, but this island has zero limitations whatsoever. This is the current map. I've only done a little terraforming here and there and started laying out the pathing for the entrance to the island when I thought, actually, let's record a speed build. So, this video is going to be a semi-speed build of the entrance of the island, which is roughly inspired by the main RDA base, Hell's Gate, from the first movie. I say roughly because I am poop at clever linear city core stuff, so listen, I'm twying here, okay? But without further ado, let's get cracking. This is kind of the area we are working with, so let's start lining this back wall with simple panels to simulate a metal building slash wall. My house is going to be the main building with the inside decorated like the control room, the lab, the link room, among many other things to make it a little more RDA. Starting with some terraforming behind the house to elongate it with solar panels and a big ass antenna. The wall is done, so now I'm just adding scaffolding and other items to make the house seem like a warehouse factory base thing. And what's a base without some solid metal fencing around the property? I initially wanted to block off the entire area with fencing, but quickly realized you wouldn't be able to get anywhere, so I made sure there was a little opening out on each side of the plaza. Place down these giant ass lights before starting on the very entrance with some pillars and continuing the fencing. Now the area is completely surrounded, it's time for proper decorating again starting in the bottom of each side of the entrance. The reason the fencing here is so far from the actual edge of the island is because the plan is to have the beaches completely blocked off, with all the other houses and buildings placed there completely out of sight. So with the fence where it is, you shouldn't be able to see the roofs of the houses there, nor be able to actually access the beach. Um, uh, profit?
From there, the right side is themed pretty sciency and robotic, whereas the left side is more for vehicles with this delivery truck and a fenced out parking area. I use these partitions to add a little color back into the area. Finish fencing behind the terraforming, placed some miscellaneous items and added some construction vehicles in their parking spot, since the RDA are always digging and mining around. finished the rest of that corner and blocked it off so it wasn't possible to wiggle through there and see the secrets. From here I just decorated the rest of the area with miscellaneous items. I had to add the full RDA logo somewhere, so I made a custom three-parter design for some short, simple panels and just placed them in this corner. I'll try to put the code for this design that I made myself and the other custom designs you can see in the description box below. From there, I used this robotic arm to mimic the weird robots you see throughout both movies and more miscellaneous items. Can't forget the obligatory rocket. Some minor details and then the area was done is it movie accurate absolutely not could i do better maybe does it get the idea across god i hope so the rda are a bunch of poopy heads but it felt weird doing an avatar island and not include them 
so I wanted to dedicate just a small area to them as they are a huge factor of the world and lore of Avatar. But that is all for today's video. I haven't done an isolated build video like this before, but I still really hope you all enjoyed watching this. I personally enjoy watching speed build videos, but feel free to let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more of these. I wanted to expand my horizons when it comes to Animal Crossing content and I hadn't really made much progress on this island besides a couple villager hunts that didn't quite end. Wait, can the first three villagers only be peppy, normal and lazy? Is that why I keep seeing the same damn villagers for the past five hours? As expected. Anyway. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and as always, thank you all so much for the support shown on my previous videos. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel for any future Animal Crossing content coming to a notification box near you soon. Thank you once again for watching and make sure you all stay happy, safe and healthy. Goodbye!